is the big the, the, the project we have, which will give us billions of dollars in a few years' time. And it needs support of training, which we planned that it should be provided by Chugumba Institute. Why would we have a problem funding it fully? I don't see any problem myself. It's not a lack of money. It is a lack of planning by the Ministry of, of Planning and Foresight and Wisdom and all that. Let's be guided by the market. If the market is giving some of our sons and daughters a higher price, let's pay them also for the, for the departments. For the department, because we need them, we need the best. If this becomes, you are saying it is the only one in East Africa. And I'm not surprised because this Okuzukuka waking up, we are the ones who started it. For the borehole water, I think we have to work with the, the Minister of Water. It can't be just done by the Institute only. You go on with the boreholes, but I'm also going to take it up to see whether we cannot get more water from the, either the River Nile. We need to get piped water from the, the, the River Nile for the Chugumba area, because the Chugumba area is now becoming an important center. Murabe Mbele Numinyo Amezi, Murabe Mbele Numinyo Amezi Ganai Kond, Hati Twino Okube Muchaho, Mugenda Haga Pipe. I will make this a priority through the Minister of Water now, not, not, not through, so that Chigumba gets water, Chigumba town, and maybe the district also, and you people also get from there. And I'd like to urge you still, uh, uh, the principal, to continue to plant more trees because you can see in a dry season, this place can really be dry. So you need more trees. And there are trees seedlings everywhere. You are not short of those. So please make this campus full of real good Ugandan trees so that we can have uh, the wind breaks in this campus. And when it's dry, they can be shades in on the campus. So continue to do that, don't stop. And uh, I call upon all the political leaders, all the religious and cultural leaders, all the parents and the community at large to encourage our youth to take advantage of this opportunity and acquire skills that can help improve their employability and livelihood. This is the first institute in the East African region to gain international accreditation for OPITO. Thank you. Surveys conducted recently, Your Excellency, indicate that employers from the oil and gas industry are already impressed and satisfied with the competencies and skills being imparted to the learners through the Uganda Petroleum Institute and others. The first component focused on improving road network connectivity to ease access for oil production and was implemented by UNRWA. Component two focused on urban development in the Albertine region and was implemented by Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. And component three focused on improving access to and upgrading skills in the Albertine region for oil and gas, and this was implemented by the Minister of Education and Sports. The facilities you have just commissioned 
were constructed under component three of this project to kickstart the processes of transforming UPIC into a center of excellence in oil and gas training. The need to for affirmative action to retain our highly trained staff to ensure that they are not taken up by the oil companies. Currently, there is movement of talent from industry to the uh, oil company to, to the authorities, and I've also seen some of my people trying to cross over. We appreciate that the startup structure established UPIC envisaged this fact and provided for a modest retention allowance. However, the startup structure can no longer address the current establishment needs, both in terms of the number of staff and remuneration. Thank you.